eight-year-old Katie, nine-year-old Theo, 13-year-old Erin and 13-year-old Eleanor are all grieving. Each has had a member of their family die during the pandemic. They needed extra help to get through it. Theo's granddad died in April. I was like many him. I used to paint with my granddad. Um, I used to play chess with him, walk the dogs with him. When, when he was ill and when he died, it was in lockdown. So that was quite hard to go through because, well, it's, someone dying is hard, hard to go through, but when you're in lockdown, it's even harder. The Primrose Hospice in Worcestershire has been helping Theo and many other children cope with their feelings. Erin's grandma died in May, but COVID restrictions kept her from the funeral. It made me really sad because I didn't get to say goodbye. Counselling definitely, definitely helps because it gets you in like a clear mindset so you can keep like venting to someone that's completely different and isn't someone that's going to maybe you see you every day. So it's really nice to have someone else to talk to. Eleanor's dad has been ill all her life. He died a few weeks ago. Now 13, she's been getting counselling since she was six. On his last day, we went to go and see him and we had to wear like PPE, is that what it's called? I think so. And we had to wear like aprons and stuff just to make it as safe as possible. I feel like it's quite a hard, hard thing. I don't really know how I can really describe it, to be honest. I think it's just, I don't know, it's very tough. Eight-year-old Katie's grandfather died in August. They were extremely close, but she couldn't see him in his last few days because of the pandemic. I didn't see him before he died. I saw him like a couple of weeks before he died. Um, it was pretty frustrating because I loved him a lot and I wanted to be closer to him. With wisdom beyond her years, Katie has advice for anyone feeling like she did. I wouldn't hide it. I would actually tell somebody because um, when Grandad died, um, I, I hid it away from Mummy and Daddy and it didn't feel good. Advice echoed by staff at the Primrose Hospice who also expect more children to need their help in the months ahead. Toby Sadler, 5 News.